Hello everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to talk about the program called What Size. Now this is going to be more of a tutorial than a review, and kind of want to give you an idea of what this program does. I actually bought it from a uh, larger pack some time ago, and have used it so much, and decided I'd share it with you as I find it to be a very valuable tool. Now what this program does is help you measure your hard drive space and find files that are wasting space or maybe files you didn't know were there to help you free up some hard drive space especially when you have a smaller hard drive so this may be useful on something like a macbook air or a uh, macbook or whatever you may have that you're limited on space with this program is by ID design or id design and uh, at the end of this be sure to stay tuned as you're going to have a chance to win a couple licensed copies for yourself one one to each winner uh, you'll have a chance to enter that contest so let's go ahead and take a look at the program now the program is very simple you can see this is a, a hard drive here with some calipers on it measuring it to kind of give you a, an idea what it is and the general overview or interface is pretty standard for a Mac we have computer home folder remeasure delete browser outline tab view pie chart duplicates as user you can change the user and customize so here we have the hard drive I have a 320 gig hard drive of which there's only 81 gigabytes available so the first thing we're going to do is measure the hard drive and we'll do that by clicking this button now it does cache the last time it's measured so it will help with speed as time goes on while the program is measuring my hard drive space I thought I'd give you a little bit of a background on the app the application was developed using Coco Objective-C and it actually makes use of multi-threading and low-level Unix file system APIs and a few other things but basically that's to allow for a low memory footprint <clears throat> and add stability and is basically unmatched by other tools according to uh, the developer as you see it's measuring my hard drive and as you can see it's 18.6 megabytes and it's in purple down here we have 4 giga or 4.03 gigabytes in applications and we have zero bytes everything else is kind of an olive green and the reason for that is they've implemented colors to represent different sizes so anything over one gigabyte will be red anything that is under a gigabyte or in the megabytes range will be purple and anything that is in the bytes range below a megabyte will be the olive green color so as you can see here it's basically laid out the different folders my uh, this is actually my name my family folder my desktop music documents and trash these have not been measured but as you measure the larger device it kind of uh, measures these as well now as it's measuring I can click on these and see applications you can see they're all purple representing they are in the megabyte range there are green below here that are in the bytes range and as you can see it just finished so at the top it organizes the different usage into kind of a uh, biggest to smallest layout so as you can see here there's users you have this Zolo family I have 33 gigabytes and then some in pictures and so on and so forth and you can see again the colors are laid out now what you can do is if you don't like this view we can go to the outline view which kind of uh, may be familiar for some of you you can also go to the tab view and here's tabs and it shows different folders as I scroll down through and we can search by modified today yesterday or 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 whichever you like there we can search by size type or even name and it's uh, quite a quite a thorough and impressive yet simple app let's close that and it also will give us a pie chart of where our usage is so you as you can see I can mouse over any one of these and this says right here I've got 29.8 gigabytes in music that could include any TV shows or movies I may have purchased that are located within that folder I also have every little thing is broken into a pie chart and you could go right down to whatever you'd like uh, represented by colors as well so let's go ahead and 
move on, we'll go back to the browser view. That's the one I like to use. Now, one of the neat things that this will do is it will find duplicates. Now, that does take some time, especially if it's not cached from before. Uh, it doesn't just find duplicates, though. It has a couple features they, they have some interesting names for. So they have nibosuction, which takes care of the leftover nib files from the application's development. That's part of Xcode. If anyone's played around with that, that may be familiar to you. But if those files are left over, this will actually take care of them and eliminate those files for you. It won't affect the application. It will just free up some space for you. There is also liposuction, which gets rid of universal PowerPC files if you have universal apps, or if you're on a PowerPC Mac, it will get rid of Intel files. So you can click that button and it will delete those for you. It will also go in and find things such as language packs that you don't need or want. So if you're in America and you speak English or you speak Spanish, you can eliminate Chinese or whatever your need is. Keep the ones you want and get rid of the rest. And uh, you know, that will free up a couple gigabytes generally. So now that I've shown you the overview of basically everything in here, what you can do is there's also some things up here in tools and that's the delocalization, the nibosuction, liposuction, and uh, duplicates and reset duplicates. You can also measure in as administrator if you're not an administrator currently logged in and you can change those things as well, which is, it is convenient without having to log out, log back in. You also have the duplicates feature like I spoke of before, which is really handy in finding uh, duplicate images and kind of looks at the low level instead of just looking at the name to see that they're really truly duplicates. They have to be an exact match duplicate. And as you can see, this looks like it's going to take a while, so I'll cancel it. But I think you get the idea. And what you can do is you can select one or multiple and you can delete them. Now if I go into here and I want to go into my system files, library, and speech I guess, voices, you can drill down into any file here, grab this. If I want to delete it, I can right click and I'm presented with different options. I can refresh, I can delete it uh, by moving it to trash, I can show it in the finder. It's, it's a pretty thorough uh, but very easy to use program that I'm fairly impressed with. I think you guys get the point. We'll go into customize and as you see here's a bunch of different things uh, you can use. I'm not going to go over each one but I think you get the idea by now. So I've used this many times to find some interesting things taking up space. I actually had some uh, swap space that was taking over 50 gigabytes and wondered where all my space went. This helped me to easily locate that space and take care of it. So it freed up quite a bit of space on my computer. What exactly was causing that I'm not sure but that's what this tool is for it helps you find those things and it's really helped me out quite a bit so let's go ahead and get to the contest now the creator of the software was generous enough to give out two codes and the way this will work is you will simply subs be subscribed to this channel and comment on this video and in one week so today is Friday in one week from today, which would be next Friday, you'll have the chance to actually win the contest. Your names will be chosen randomly, and that actual date is November 12th. So your names will be chosen randomly using random.org. Again, be subscribed, comment on the video, and you'll be entered to win. Now, keep in mind, this is Mac only. It's a universal app, so it will work on PowerPC and Intel, so that's not a concern. Keep in mind, if you want to win, again, subscribe, comment, good luck, and uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please uh, let some others know, give it a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time.